Okay, uh, it's Saturday, and today I'm going to say I did ridiculously well. Um, I spent 240. 200. And, hold on. 254 on everything I bought. Um, but some of it was so cheap, it was like ridiculous. I'm not even sure how much money I spent uh, on everything. I'm going to figure it out now because some of it was so cheap. Um, one sale I went to, this wasn't the first sale, but I, I totally scored. I, I got a, a, a fant for what I paid, a fantastic NES bundle. This is the first thing that I picked up. Um, and I actually, I went, I went up the driveway, there's the box, and I said to them, uh, do you have any video games? And they immediately said no. <laughs> so I said, all right, I'll look around, right? I go up and I see that, my wife sees this, and I'm like, hey, how much is this? A dollar, right? Now, I'm not going to, I would sell this, say, between 10 and $20, and I'm going to save it for the game convention. So it looks pretty clean, 10 to 20 bucks right there. Um, I look down, and I bought something else there. I don't really know where it is, uh, what it is, um, but I'll, I'll find it later. Um, I look down, it's probably some jewelry, actually, and I'll, I'm going to do two videos. Uh, I look down, there's this box. Uh, this is, I see right on top. I couldn't even see what's underneath. I say, hey, how much? Uh, for the Nintendo stuff, uh, they go like this, 10 bucks. I'm like, okay, I'm buying that, right? <laughs> so I immediately give them the $10 and go, you know what, I'm going to put this in the car. And I took uh, that and some other stuff. I just put it in the car. So anyway, for $10, let me just go through what I got. Um, all right, you know what, I'll start with this. Sealed. Pool. Championship pool. You know what? Uh, probably... Not a valuable or desirable game, but it's sealed. Same with this pro sports hockey. Sealed. Um, uh, looks like I'm going to need a power supply for this, but to be honest, I'm not even worried about that. Um, so, a Nintendo, original NES, inside Tetris game, right? Uh, sorry. Uh, here's a power supply. Maybe this works. Uh, for it. Here's the original power supply. I'm assuming this one has the cut cord. This is weird. All right. I'm actually opening this now. Uh, I have no clue what this is. But it was in the box. I didn't really go through the box. Um, I took a quick peek to see a couple things. But check this out. Is that ridiculous? A power glove? Uh... I've, I might have had one once in all the time I've been looking for stuff. Let's see. Yep, it's for the Nintendo, a power glove. I have no clue on value for, for that. Um, I'm imagining that it should work. Uh, here's a gun. Uh, one controller. There's the AV. Um, I don't know what this is. Power glove. Okay, this is part of the power glove. It goes with that. I'm not even going to take any of this stuff out tomorrow. I'm doing a game convention in a week. Um, two controllers. Uh, three controllers. Three controllers. Uh, you know what? Let me see which AV is, is cut. It's going to get dark soon. You know what? Here's the original Nintendo power thing. So let's just spread it over here. Okay, screw that. Uh, it's taking too long. Uh, oh, this is the other thing I bought. This is kind of fun. This is a speaker and, a tr and for the iPod. It's missing this plug, but this is like an Xbox plug. It's a, or your standard computer plug. No big deal, easy to get. Uh, whatever. Okay, now let me, uh, oh, and also there was, oh, look, four controllers. So hopefully they they look a little dirty. So Captain Clean that goes to this. There's a game cleaner. Yep, it's just a cleaner. That's the sticker that goes it. Here's oh the guide for the power glove is in here, and some more paperwork for the power glove. So that should be a, a pretty complete power glove. Um, here's some kind of tool. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, games. Um, John Elway quarterback. Super Mario Brothers 3, one of the better games. Again, $10 for all this Nintendo stuff. An amazing deal. Uh, Kung Fu, probably a $10 game. 
Um, there's one game in here that, geez, uh, Jordan versus Bird, that I, I almost never would find this game. Uh, championship Series. Uh, it's just kind of working out that I'm saving it for last. Tecmo Bowl. I think this is probably a 10 to $15 game. It must be this one, so I'm going to save that for last. Blades of Steel, a regular common game. This is another game cleaner. Joust. I haven't had this game in a while. I don't know the value on that. Baseball. And this is it. This is the best game. A Mega Man. Uh, the first Mega Man. I believe this is at least $75. Don't know. Okay. So, again, $10, all of this. $2 for that, a dollar for that. I spent like 13 bucks with them besides some jewelry. Um, at another sale I went to, uh, this wasn't as good of a deal, but for $33, I got this Nintendo 64. As you can see, it's very dirty and it's missing the jumper pack. But I just got a painted one from a friend of mine. He knows who he is. That needs to be put together. I showed it in uh, my last video. So, I'm just going to take the expansion pack, I'm, I'm the jumper pack out of that, put it in here. I paid $33 for this. <laughs> Little bugs are flying. And these manuals. I never heard of this. This is uh, Linton Police. I never heard of that. It's a game. Uh, Linton Police Academy. Don't know. A Genesis instruction manual. Command and Conquer. CD-ROM. Uh, Sony PlayStation manual. Journal of Mist. Pentology, Pentology, um, Donkey Kong Country for Super Nintendo, Doom, must be s for Macintosh, uh, NBA Live, Warcraft 2 expansion set, uh, oh and then I bought some CDs at the same sale, Nirvana, uh, Guns N' Roses, uh, both sides Phil Collins and Lenny Kravitz. Okay. So that I paid 33 for that. So that was actually a pretty good deal. And I bought more stuff at the other sale too. At another house sale for $4, I got a really clean Billy Joel album and a Spider-Man Xbox game. A Spider-Man 2 Xbox game that was also clean. So that was $4. Um, at another sale, this was the end. Believe it or not, I bought this stuff. It was ridiculous. You know, ten dollars. It's it's not even early. It's like ten o'clock. And again, I said, "You got any games?" No. There they are, right there. Uh, an amazing deal. <clears throat> okay, for fifteen, sixteen dollars, I bought a Star Wars Force Unleashed, Mario Kart DS, and Super Mario Brothers. These are not very valuable games, but I should, at the very least, be able to double my money. And this is just headphones. I can always use headphones for a dollar. These look like nice ones. <clears throat> okay, the last of the games that I got for $40, uh, I go up, what's this? This is a Nintendo uh, 3DS XL. Hey, how much? 20 bucks. Working, plus it has uh, a card in there with games. Uh, no charger, but I can get a charger. Then, for two for five, they gave me some PS3 games. Amazing Spider-Man, Lego Movie Game. I don't even know if these games are worth much more than five. Probably a couple of them are. Five to eight. Injustin, Injustice, Gods Among Us, that's probably a $10 game. Battlefield 3, probably a $7 game. Godfather 2, probably an $8 game. Resident Evil, uh, not an expensive game. Grand Theft Auto 5, for some reason it's rattling around. Yeah, so for 40 bucks, I got uh, eight games. This this is over, I don't know, over $100, maybe as much as $120, $150. For someone like me selling it at a flea market. All right, let's see what else I can show in this video. Okay, uh, one of the first sales I went to, I bought this. This is a Costa Boda. I'm sorry, it's not. It's a Stromberg um, glass vase. Needs to be clean. Five bucks. So that's very nice. Uh, it was a good deal. The wife bought some linens, uh, napkins. Don't know what she paid for those. Uh, Got a CD player for two bucks. It's also an MP3 player, and some post-it notes for a dollar. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do jewelry. A separate video. Put it together. Um, Twenty-five for this. Somebody I know wanted this. It's a laser hair removal. If if they don't want it, they don't buy it. These sell for over a hundred dollars on eBay or Amazon. A pair of jeans, a buck for me. All right, did all that stuff. Uh, nativity. 
Oh, this is for my friend who I buy nativity for. Um, I got a box full of nativity, the made in Italy, the good old stuff for 20 bucks. I'm giving this to you when I see you tomorrow. As you can see, it's a mix. Wise men, animals, uh, more wise men. They're in okay condition. Some are in, in, in good condition. Uh, I'm not showing you the good. Okay, there's some shepherds in there. So here's a good shepherd. This is one you could probably sell $10, $15. Um, Christmas is coming. This is the best time of year to put these on. As you can see, there's like a, maybe a Joseph back there in there. So anyway, you'll, you'll be surprised when you see these tomorrow. Um, and these are made in Italy ones. These are the most fragile and the ones that people need as a replacement because they break apart all the time. Okay, now, now I'm going to show some wrestlers I got. And then, um, then I'll do a separate video for the jewelry. Uh, these wrestlers the lady had, they are kind of beat up. Uh, some of them have bite marks on them. So what I did was I picked out the best ones with the least amount of wear, like you see his chest. And I said, what, do you have a dog or something? They're like, no, just the kids. So the kids are freaking chewing on this stuff. Um, some are cleaner than others, but overall condition on these, I would say, is okay. Not pristine, not stuff that would, uh, I wouldn't put this online. I'm going to take these to flea market and probably sell them three to see, like, see the wear on his arms. Some are better than others, but these are ones I'll take to the flea market. I'll sell for like three dollars, two for five. I wouldn't even ask for for them. See, like, see on his chest, you can see some marks. Uh, got this little Irish dude. Got this guy. Uh, hold on. Uh, this guy. That guy. Uh, rock. Yeah, I'm trying to be quick. Um, this one, but you could see this one has like bite, what look like bite marks. This one's a little dirty. So, um, I think these are flea market ones. That guy, this guy. I don't know, maybe that's Randy Savage. And uh, this guy. Okay. The next video I do, I'm going to piece together with this one. It'll just be jewelry. I know I showed the 3DS in the other part of the video. Uh, my daughter came home. She immediately claimed that I was going to keep it anyway. So just so anyone, everyone knows that might be interested, it's off the market. Uh, jewelry. <clears throat> most of the jewelry was inexpensive. I probably don't remember how much we paid for everything. Uh, we paid the most for these two rings here. These are uh, 95 China. Uh, sterling and probably glass or cubic zirconia type rings. Ten bucks a piece we paid for those, but they're very pretty. Uh, I don't know what we paid for this cross. I think it's silver. We probably paid a, a few dollars. My wife wouldn't pay much for this because this is something that we would probably sell for eight or ten dollars. Not a lot. Um, this said silver on it, but my wife only paid like, I don't know, a uh, bug. She only paid, you know, I don't remember, but it was inexpensive. This stuff might have been like five dollars for the two pieces. And this uh, looks like silver. It's a butterfly and it's got a nice big amber uh, center and then she cleaned off the back and it says 925 right where I'm pointing. So, and then, and then this is just a love bracelet. She can do whatever she wants with that. Um, we got this stuff at another sale and uh, it's, it's a mix of stainless steel and sterling jewelry. I don't think we paid a lot for it. You know, she bought it and uh, I don't always know what she pays for everything. So anyway, she got these two stainless steel uh, bangle bracelets, um, three stainless steel crosses. Uh, we can sell stainless steel sometimes. Probably sells as much as silver does because we don't sell silver for a lot. And here's the third one. This is definitely flea market stuff. Um, they're gothic. They have a nice gothic look. Oh, and this one was sterling. It's marked on the shank or something. Oh, this is also st sterling, but it's new, and it shows a... There, let me turn, turn on the light. It's a fleur de lis, I guess, and it says waxing poetic 925. That's got to be new jewelry. This is wood, but for some reason she just liked it, and it's on stretchy. Um, then she got these three silver rings. I think the rings were like three or something a piece. They were really inexpensive. This one has, I don't know if it's Asian or Islamic design. 
there's some kind of animal on the side. It, maybe it's a lion or a, or a griffin or a tiger. It's, it's not really jumping out at me. Uh, and these are men's rings. This is a mix of onyx and other stone. And uh, I don't know what that is, if that's enamel or stone or whatever. Uh, oh. This we bought at the last sale we went to, I think. And uh, it wasn't expensive, but, you know, nothing too special. Let's see. These are sterling earrings, except they're tangled in here. Well, I'll show one there. It's a uh, seashell coral. I'm sorry, seashell, like uh, not mar mother of pearl, the other one, abalone. Um, the blue turquoise, and it looks like onyx. Okay, this this is tangled into it, so I'm not going to show this. This is uh, a native design pendant. I don't think this is very valuable, but it's kind of neat, and it was cheap. It says David Dudder or something, and something Alaska, Alaska. David, David, I can't really, let me just see. Uh, give me one second. <clears throat> I'm going to put on my magnifiers. And actually, what I do is sometimes I put magnifiers over David and Padet. It looks like David Padet. And it says maybe David Audet and a Sitma Alaska. Okay. I don't even know why I spent that much time on it. It's not that valuable. Here's a nice Monet necklace. It says Monet right there, if you can read it. Okay. And uh, just a nice gold tone link. And then this was kind of cool. This is a Giants. I go to the Giants stadium occasionally. So it's a giant uh, Giants bangle bracelet. There's the stadium. It says something on the back, but it says D M. Have no clue. Whatever. That's it. Uh, that's everything I got today. So um, tomorrow, if you're looking for me, I am going to be in. Um, where am I going to be? I'm going to be in Woodland Park, Kierfot, uh parking lot, flea market. Um, I won't be bringing any of the the Nintendo stuff. I don't have time to test it tonight. Um, but I will be bringing other game stuff. Um, so like I said, if you want to see me, um, uh, you'll check me there. And then, and then next week I'm doing, a, um, the toy con and I'll probably make some videos talking about that before next week comes up. Also, I got a lead on a big lot of, of video games. It's going to cost me like near a thousand maybe. I don't know. Uh, but I gotta, I gotta find out if that's going to happen or not. So that's it.